Hey y'all, welcome back to If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. So I wanted to try something different, so I hope that you are able, you will be able to see the items that I just got back from Dollar Tree. I went over to get batteries and ended up with all this stuff. As you know, I have not did really a Dollar Tree Tuesday in a while. Um, because, uh, you know, they went up the, the extra quarter, and that quarter really adds up. I ended up spending like $33 today, um, and I'm like, what did I buy for $33? So, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're wondering what my channel is about, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a like, and leave me a lovely comment. So... I, uh, like I said, went over to the Dollar Tree. I went to go get batteries and did not end up getting batteries. So I'm going to have to go back out again tomorrow and pick some up. But I did find these cute gnome, uh, it says gnome for the holidays. I thought these was adorable. Kitchen towels. So I got two of these. And hopefully you'll be able to find the items um, if you've seen anything that I'm showing uh, on camera you'll be able to find them at your store um, I'm not doing this in any type of order and they had the sugar crystals I got these in red for the kids and in green when we do our uh, sugar cookies And then I needed the removable hooks so I can hang up my um, garland outside my front door. So I got these in the small size. And I thought I picked up a large one, but it looks like I did not. So I got these two. And then um, I found this microfiber duster mop pad the fuzzy white I got one because I'm getting ready to do a little arts and crafts over reminder if um, you're interested or if you are an adult doll collector I have a new channel for me and my grandkids called Kel's crazy kids so if you don't mind stop on over on that uh, channel and hit that subscribe button help us get to 1k and don't forget to leave us a lovely message so on that channel I am going to be doing like DIY DIYs on that channel uh, for adult doll collectors uh, how you can enhance uh, your rainbow high doll house we're gonna be doing a um, a refresh on the dollhouse some you know if um, you know anything about rainbow high I'll be discussing a lot of things over there pertaining to rainbow high so I end up getting this dust um, mop thingy for that and then I found the wired garland ties and I almost ordered this online at Amazon for seven dollars so I am so glad that I did get up and run over to the Dollar Tree so I got this because I'm gonna be making a uh, doll Christmas tree and then next what I'm really excited about um, if you need fairy lights they have them now out at the Dollar Tree or anything pertaining to miniature lights so I found the ones that have like the little uh, balls on them in a different color. So I got that. And then I picked up two, four, six of just the plain fairy lights. And I will be showing what I'll be doing with these over at Kel's Crazy Kids. So I got them. And then, um, as usual, you know how I am about the bags. They have a different brand uh, now from the Dollar Tree. And these are the real big ones, the 2.5 uh, gallon storage. These hold a lot for personal items. You just, you know, you name it across the board. I use a lot of stuff. Uh, I use these bags for everything. When I'm on vacation, for dirty clothes, in the car, etc. 
and then just picked up the regular um, storage bag, thir storage uh, gallon bags, 13 in the um, pack. So I had needed these. And lastly, at the Dollar Tree, I don't remember seeing these last year, but they have um, in the craft section, the kids can make their own snowman. And you only get, you know, you get one in a pack and it comes with all the, um, the pieces that they can glue on and make themselves a snowman. So I got two, two of the snowmen. Then they have it, had it in the lovely uh, gingerbread lady or guy. And then there's all the pieces and that's what it looks like um, when they finish it. I got two of those and then lastly I got one Christmas tree because I wasn't sure what they wanted to do so I hope they don't fight over the Christmas tree and then there's all the pieces so this will be like a little arts and crafts um, for the kids after they wind down from opening up all their gifts and something for them to do while um, I'm at work until 12 o'clock. And then next on my way back home, I stopped at Dollar General to find some pieces once again for our dollhouse. And over in the ornament section at Dollar General, you know, they have some nice, fabulous um, Christmas ornaments. So I found a nice, a uh, reef to go for the dollhouse just the perfect size and then they had these cute little um, nutcrackers now when I was in Dollar Tree they had the taller ones and I didn't realize this so I only got the small ones at uh, Dollar General and these were a dollar so I may just stage these um, you know, um, maybe on my butler's entry in my kitchen or just still use them for the dollhouse. And then lastly, I found the sign called Sparkle. And that's what um, Rainbow High represents, uh, Sparkle. That's like one of the, um, the branding, I guess I can say, um, with the dollhouse. So I thought that was cute, even though it is in blue, but it's usually supposed, you know, it's red. So I may paint the back of this so it can correspond um, with the theme in the dollhouse. So yeah, you know, like I said, now I kind of see what I spent $32 on, but there's some things that I needed, but I have to go back because each of these fairy lights that I bought, I bought seven or eight of them. I need two batteries each, so I need to go back and get batteries for these. And if you see my new uh, electric fireplace, make sure to go check out that video. Um, it came out on Friday, and uh, I am down here on the floor. I am praying that I can get up, get up after I do this video. But I don't have the heat part on. And this is cold. It does not get hot whatsoever. And I have just been burning it. It is just, oh my goodness, the ambience um, on a cold winter night. Um, it was 61 degrees here in North Carolina today. But last night, it was 28 degrees when I woke up. So I just came over and um, hit the heat button. And I tell you, it... Uh, really got my house up to like 70 degrees because I don't run the heat at night. But yeah, see how it just works. So go over and check that video out. All the information is down in the description box if you're interested or looking for something like this for your home. So thank you for stopping by. And as I always say, child, if it ain't cheap, I am buying it. I'll see y'all in another video. For me and my family, I want to wish you uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year 2023.